Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. So I had this conversation with this young lady who was saying that she is from Zim. A very confusing confession that she gave to me. The confession, well, it reads like this. Hello, my brother, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? My brother, my story, it goes on like this. I was born here in Europe and me being here in Europe with my parents, my parents, they were given a very strange sponsorship for this all from this old British man who came to our country, which is Zim, a very long time ago. At that time, my mom and my father, they were still a very young couple, but the reason as to why they were given that sponsorship it is because of the bloodline the blood that flows in our body so the thing that we grew up hearing and the things that we were taught was that we are part of that bloodline that used to be the persian empire it used it was something that was very confusing to my grandfather because as a black man how was he connected to this persian empire but the stories that my grandfather used to tell me a lot when we were still young was like this one night when they were returning from the pastures where their cattle were busy grazing along the way that was when they met this old british man who stopped them and was asking the name of my grandfather my grandfather was really scared because he thought that maybe something bad was going to happen to him but this white man seemed to be very friendly and seemed to be someone who had a lot of knowledge when it comes to history and genealogies so this man then said is it possible that we can go somewhere where we can sit down because this is going to be a long night because of this lengthy discussion that i am, I am going to have with you and that is how this old man was invited to my grandfather's compound when that white man was invited to my grandfather's compound he then asked my grandfather where he had ca where he came from then my grandfather told him that he came from this region which is in malawi and he said that that is where his tribe or his bloodline originates as far as he can remember and when he had came to zim he married my mother my mother who is part of a jewish nation that is there in zim so that white man then opened up the bible and went to the new testament and opened up where there is that genealogy which traces the bloodline of jesus and then that white man asked my grandfather and my father what were they looking at then my grandfather said that this is the genealogy of jesus christ then that white man said well if these people can trace their genealogies back into the past for thousand and thousand of years why can't you do the same my grandfather said that he was really confused by this and then that white man said that you have to know that you are also part of a genealogy that is well documented this bloodline has been documenting itself for a very long time then my grandfather was like but i am not like the same color of the people that are patients that are from iran so how is it even possible that you can say that i my ancestors were part of the persian empire then that old man told my grandfather that with time when people were migrating from the persian empire some of them going down south that was when the the bloodline was tainted and mixed that is how my grandfather ended up being a black man but now this man said that what is happening in the world is that the Persians, they are actually collecting the members of their bloodline so that the bloodline can be made to be pure again so that it won't be tainted like it used to be tainted for over a thousand years. So that is how my parents ended up being here in this country where I am currently. And when they arrived here, they started getting schooled, but the way that they were now being taught, it is very different. Even I and my siblings when we were going to school we didn't receive the same education that your normal people will be given our education it is very different because we are taught the true world history and all the things that happen in this world even 
if you sit me down on the same table with a professor that has grown old at a university he, the knowledge that he has is not the same knowledge that i have because i have more understanding to the things of this world than he can ever imagine well the other things that happen is that so this persian empire it never went away when people thought that the persian empire had gone away what actually happened was that our bloodline then transformed itself and it became another empire which was the roman empire they were like just your patients and from there on new religions were created so that a lot of people your normal people who are not part of our bloodline can be kept in the dark and the thing that i want to tell you about is this solar eclipse that is going to happen on the 8th of april so the importance of this solar eclipse is that for many many years for thousand and thousand of years whenever there is a solar eclipse well we do worship because we believe that back in the past more than a thousand years ago there were worshipers from our kingdom who were actually worshiping whilst they were facing the sun whilst they were worshiping like that they saw god and god was flying down from the heavens his wings were really big that the wings covered the entire surface of the sun so whenever there is a total solar eclipse in our religion this is very important it is an important sign from god and god was flying down from heaven with his wings covering the sun he had some commandments that he gave to our ancestors and these commandments that he gave to our ancestors we have been using them as holy scriptures well some can say that what about other religions yes from our holy scriptures then our ancestors they sat down and when they sat down they decided to create several world religions so that people can be kept in the dark people can keep on believing in what they want to believe so that they can never find out what the truth is we are the only ones who have the holy scriptures all other scriptures they come from our holy scriptures well a lot of people they believe that their scriptures are the holy scriptures but when you are studying those scriptures you will see that there are a lot of contradictions it is because they were man-made they were made by our ancestors so as to confuse the masses and we are the only one who hold the true knowledge of the happenings of this world even the food that people are being made to eat right now the food was properly designed so as to to keep the whole population in a state of sickness and not eating anything that is natural a lot of chemicals as for us we eat a lot of organic food one can say what about the rich the rich people why can't they eat the healthy food you can't because everything is controlled the supply chain is controlled so anything that you go and buy in the shop it is already controlled at the supply and you can never do anything about it you can't source organic food on your own because the system was designed to be like that only us who are part of the of the bloodline are the only ones that can have access to the healthy organic food well you can ask me so was your family that important in this bloodline such that they can collect your grandparents from zim as for our ancestors they were not that important but what an empire will choose is that it is far much better to preserve a bloodline because one day there is going to be a one world government when that one world government will be in existence us who are part of the bloodline no matter how powerful or less powerful your ancestors were our duty would be to help will be to help this one world government to hold some positions in that government because we will always be faithful to our own bloodline so that is why they are busy tracing those that are part of this bloodline and in our empire we do not recognize countries just like the people that are living in the dark have so much pride over their countries we recognize regions and we recognize that there are 10 provinces in this world we do not recognize 
any country at all we only recognize provinces and these provinces which has the countries they are controlled by money as long as you are using money in your country then you can be controlled it just shows that our empire is at work because there is a particular direction in which that country is supposed to follow and when it refuses to follow that particular direction then the rent will keep on losing its value against the dollar another thing that i want to tell you is that all the countries that are so-called your first world countries today and all of those countries which they call the first world countries if you go back in the past when our empire was still very visible you will find out that these were the same regions in which our empire was very active and they were given the same wealth because they used to be the outposts of our empire so for our empire to be strong and for it to continue these countries they were purposefully made to be much more strong in the other regions of the world to be much more weaker so that the empire can keep on pulling the strings without anyone ever noticing some of the wars that happen most of the wars they will be controlled wars we call them controlled rebellion any uncontrollable rebellion it will quickly come to an end if it does not suit the desire of our empire we have been told that even now maybe our king has already been born because one day the king is the one who is going to rule the entire nations and this king is going to bring about total change and is going to bring peace in this world but we do not know if the king has already been born or if he has not yet been born because where he is it is always kept as a secret for the safety of the empire he will only be revealed to the world once everything has been done so about the solar eclipse we pray and whenever we pray we pray facing the sun in remembrance of what happened back in the days when our kings and when people were worshiping they saw god flying down from the heavens with his wings covering the entire surface of the sun that is the reason as to why we pray whilst we are facing the sun Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received and I had a conversation with our dear sister who is saying that she is from Zim but she is in a hidden location in Europe. They went to Europe via a funny sponsorship because they have bloodline, Iranian bloodline thing. Very confusing, very confusing. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section.